Assalamualaikum and good morning everyone. So today uh, we would like to introduce our proposed project to Malaysia Startup Challenge 2024 with the title Intelligent Durian Ripness Inspection System or what we call it IDRIS. So first of all I would like to introduce our project member. This project was led by Nur Sharina Nisha Zakaria from FTKEK UTEM and me Nick Muhammad Zarifi Hashim, Nur Anis Shazwani Abdul Rashid, Nadira Yasmin Sli. So let me introduce about this particular proposed project. So first of all we can see the trend of the durian sale throughout the world mainly from China, Thailand, Malaysia, others and Indonesia is rising up by years. So basically we are at the uh, dark green over here. We can see that uh, nearly 25% of this whole uh, selling of the durian is coming from us. So speaking of the durian production issues, so we could uh, discuss about how the durian itself is qualitatively checked or inspected before it has been sold to the customers. So basically in Malaysia we have Malaysia, Malaysian standard and also in Asian country we have Asian standard for durian. So in this particular project we we have a collaboration between Pharma and Sina Shukrawi as our advisor for this particular project. Towards that, we also join the Perkebun Durian and Wah Wahai via the Facebook and we also get the information from there and discuss all issues that occurred by us with the, the true player in the field. In recent year, basically Siri Malaysia started to produce Musang King Durian Standard and also the tracking system by themselves in order to help Durian Farm. In general, this particular product is basically wanted to convert from the manual observation of the durian inspection towards the smart inspection durian in order to begin the this particular startup product so basically we face several problems i think is uh, the, the problem is related to the inconsistent quality whereby it will be affected the consumer satisfaction at the end so the secondly is labor intense inspection they uh, therefore if we take a look at case of human to inspect the durian like thousand pieces of durian daily it prone to be uh, having the human error at the middle or the end so the other one is post harvest losses so basically it will affect the profitability of the company but also contribute to the food waste at the end. Also speaking of the standard compliance during the export time, so basically uh, all the player at the field required to comply with the compliance with this particular standard that I mentioned earlier, Malaysian and Asian standard. So all set of the problems make us counting on several potential for putting our product into the market. So first of all about the uh, growth of industry. So basically uh, speaking of the growth, this will be reflected to the huge demand in the Malaysian market specifically and invited the import opportunities to Malaysia. In order to make things happen, to become bigger the industry and to wider the export activities, so basically regulatory compliance, especially food safety and regulation, would be some issues to be brought in and also demand of quality so whereby the Malaysian standard is in and the Asian standard also is and eventually the impact of AI and AIR 4.0 inviting us towards utilizing fully capability of the technology that has been occupied right now in order to make things efficiently and cost saving so the impact of this particular product so the post product will be like this so later or I will be discussing on this so to enhance the durian quality in order to make things good quality towards the hand of the customer increase the efficiency related to the feel perception and obviously if you have a good technology in hand so the cost might be reduced and will be saved towards farmer uh, middleman and towards the customer market expansion also we can expand it throughout the SME small medium enterprise in Malaysia and we could also sustain as long as we have a good technology in hand so we can sustain avoid the human prune error so how we show a uh, realistic of this idea so basically before we embark to start it and to design this, this particular product we conducted several meetings with collaborator farmer and during that particular meeting the, the several issues demand and comments from them and make things become clearer to us that after that we try to solve problem of the industry and currently we are trying to push our data sets to be publicly and th this particular product is reliable uh, basically we are using the neural network so after we did some discussion so basically we did own survey throughout the uh, desktop survey putting the the same inputs to Google uh, Microsoft Bing Yahoo and DuckDuckGo so none of this is describing towards the durian freshness by Google. Uh, the available is through the micro bay using support vector machine. A non AI has been exposed by Yahoo. Only image feature by DuckDuckGo. Last year, we have been awarded two research medal throughout the Inotech uh, conducted by our faculty. We we managed to get bronze over there. And in the university level, we gained a gold medal for Jejak University UTM 2003. And we also been accepted in Scopus IEEE conference, which
which discusses durian musang king and durian kampung classification. It's throughout the journey from the starting to the to this particular current time. So we realized that we or we can expose our TRL based on the most T level. We are now at TRL number four. So the coverage of that partic this particular uh, proposed product is 97.5% Idris system accurately recognize the ripeness of the durian. The, the system is based on the standard neural network whereby the result is accurate and reliable. Easy hardware setting because we just using the web. Okay, right. Speaking of the budgeting, so this only three items that we are utilized. So the first is Google Collapse, the way that we train our proposed uh, network model. So we ran it for just a month. So the design itself, we bought it uh, around 75 ringgit. And the camera that we uh, use is around 150 ringgit. So in total, we seek two, 265 ringgit. So we are targeting to sell our product in price of uh, 400 ringgit. So compared to the things that been posted by Thailand researcher and product, basically they, they sell the measuring tools of durian Ritness mechanically price of 3,900 bucks so convert to uh, ringgit Malaysia so still 525 ringgit expensive than us it's only 400 ringgit as I mentioned earlier so basically we did uh, some discussion with uh, pharma and after what we did test it uh, during the exhibition and finally this uh, is the, the the day that we exposed to the world that our Idris is uh, reliably and compatibly to uh, durian ridness system basically to introduce or to explain how the product is this on the left is, is basically the, the prototype product which has been developed uh, last year 2023 but basically there will be desktop web connected to the uh, camera webcam or this particular camera a uh, handheld camera so this particular camera will be capture the image of the durian on the tables and finally they will be give some analysis in the desktop like shown in this particular desktop so the recent one is basically we try to convert it from the desktop style of apps to the smart apps so whereby we wanted to convert it from the make it so from the desktop uh, style of apps to the handheld. So what are the plans to be promoting our, our business and our product is basically we under the uh, discussion with uh, Pharma and Mafi. So recently we have received one particular approval from UCC whereby we have been interviewed in order to pass to send our to uh, my iPo in order to get the copyright. So this is the one that accepted letters from UTEM. So after getting the copyright, so basically we try to uh, sell this particular uh, copyright, the Idris and the and the courses are uh, around 30,000 ringgit to those uh, interested companies. So with that note, thank you and have a nice day. Bye.